Okay, we're going to go ahead and start doing our As Theometry project using Pixlr. Um, you should all go to your apps, open a window, a Chrome window, and go to your apps, select Pixlr, and um, it should come up like this. Now, when I open mine, the backslash or forward slash, whichever you I guess it's forward slash, um, is not on the end of it and it won't come up correctly so if you need to add on that slash that would be great and then you should come up to a window that looks like this. We're going to create a new image so you're going to click on that and then your new image let's give it a name right away and I'm gonna call it Sternhagen as the um, uh, tree okay and I want it, instead of being the normal that comes up here as 800 by 600, and that's pixels, I want it to be a square. So I want it to be 600 by 600 pixels. And I'm going to click OK. So now I have it up here. Now, if you'll notice, we're only viewing 96% of it. So we want um, to make it a little bit smaller, like even just 90%, so we can see the edges of our paper our screen on our computer, the area, the drawing surface that we're going to be working with. The next thing that you need to do is under the tools on the left hand side is you need to click the box that has the drawing tool which has a circle and a rectangle in it. You're going to click that and then across the top you'll notice that there's that same icon as in your toolbar and then you can draw a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, a circle or an oval or a line and we want to click on the line tool. We want our opacity to be 100, mode to be normal, and we want the size to be 5. You may have to change the size but everything else will likely come up with those already. Then what we're going to do is we're going to choose our color and we want, you can move it anywhere around but I think it's going to be best for us to stick with a darker color. If you do a lighter color, it's not going to show up as well. So you're going to want to stick with a darker color. And if you want to stick with just a straight black, come over to this corner on anywhere that you are. Okay? And it'll be a good straight black. I'm going to just stick with black for mine. Now what we're going to do, we don't have any rulers or any dots that tell us go from point 1 to point 2 to point 3 and 4 and so on. So we just have to remember the concepts we learned as we practiced on paper. So we're going to start down in the lower left hand corner and we're going to click and we're going to hold it and drag up to the top edge and you want to keep it fairly close together. Remember the closer together that you keep the distance from here to here, the more the illusion will be. Now to move my cursor like that I had let go here. So let me just undo that step a minute and I can do that again with you. I clicked here in the bottom corner, I held it down and then I drug it up and when I got up here to the edge, remember we're not crossing through the wall it's like the pinball. It doesn't go through the wall. It doesn't back up and then turn. We're just going to stop here and I'm going to let go of my mouse pad. And then I'm going to just leave my cursor right exactly where it was and I'm going to click again, hold it down, drag it over. I'm going to get to the edge and I'm going to let go. I'm going to click and drag, get to the edge, let go. Click, drag. Okay, I got to go to my wall. Once I get on my wall, I'm going to stop, I'm going to let go, then I'm going to click, drag, and try to keep the distance the same as it was from here to here, here to here. Keep it pretty consistent. I'm on the edge of my wall, I let go, then I just stay right there, click, drag, let go, click, drag, let go, click drag, let go, and I'm going to quit saying that routine and I'm just going to kind of keep going. You can just kind of watch how this all transpires. And we're
we're going to just keep going and trying to keep those distances fairly consistent, not getting them too far apart, not going through any of the walls. And it goes a lot faster because we don't have to mess with that ruler this time. The computer automatically draws the straight line for us. Kind of nice. And we're going to just keep going. And as we're continuing on into the center, you can see that those curved lines, that optical illusion, is starting to show up. And so we're going to just keep on going. Clicking, dragging, hitting the wall, let go. Click, drag, hit the wall, let go. Click, drag, hit the wall, let go. And we're getting slowly closer to the middle. And I think you're going to be very pleased with how this is going to come out. And if it takes a couple of times, starting over, that's okay. This is nothing you have ever done before on your computer, I presume. So this could be something that we might be a little challenging. And you know, as I always say, if it's not challenging, then you're not learning anything. So I have to challenge you and make you think just a very little bit. Remember, don't cross over the wall. Just go right up and bump into the wall. And again, I click, I drag, let go, click, drag, let go, click, drag, let go. Now you'll notice this isn't taking me very long. You may not get it done quite as quickly as this. I have been doing a little practicing on the computer because this is a completely different way than what I am used to doing it on the computer. So I had to learn a little bit to get ready to show you how to do this. So I actually learned something because I had to challenge myself. And we're just about to the middle. And it's a little harder as you get to the middle. You gotta be a little more precise with where you land and not go through that wall. Okay. Just about there. And remember when we kind of get to the middle, it just it kind of just turns into a little triangle. So there it is. It's done. Isn't that amazing? Look at those beautiful curved lines that we created using just straight lines. Now the most important thing, we need to save this. So we're going to go File save. Now you will likely come up with an option that says um, my drive and you want to save it to your drive um, so that we can access it again later. Um, we want it to be here's our name that we gave it at the beginning and if you didn't do that at the beginning you definitely want to do that now. Last name dash as theometry JPEG is what we want it to be and quality remember last time we put that to a hundred percent because we wanted that to be really a good quality image and then we clicked OK and I am going to save it just to my desktop because my computer is just a little different than yours so once you have your image saved and you're if you have a little trouble saving it to um, drive just you know let me know and we'll we'll work it out so this is the end of the first step. Now, once you accomplish this, there's going to be another video that's going to show you the next step to put a lot of these together on a single piece of paper. So hang on for the next video. Make sure you have this saved and you know where you saved it to. You know what you've called it so that you can find it again.